。好，那诶，各位就是呃 j u n i v 的朋友，大家好。那欢迎来到就是呃这一轨来串啊国际公民社群。那呃，其实延续昨天我们在周松轨，其实已经邀请了非常多的像来自韩国的社群朋友，或者是来自日本的社群朋友，分享他们在当地在社群。在公民科技领域所做的一些就是努力，以及他们的一些专案的成果。那今天所谓的来串啊，其实我们希望说，不只只是他们来做他们的 showcase， 他们来分享经验，然后我们分享我们经验，而是更深一步的说，呃，不同的国家之间的公民科技社群，我们能够怎么样透过开源协作，然后更加的去呃有所。就是发激发出更多的火花。那除了我 fork 你的专案，你 fork 我的专案之外，我们也能够有就是一起合作，一起打造就是各种专案。那今天的议程非常的精彩，会有呃来自就是我们呃日本 c o f o Japan， 然后这边的 s i x o n 他是 c o f o Japan 的创办人，然后还有就是我们呃。那个念海松的朋友，就是来自韩国的 n u f o 的朋友们，然后以及多伦多的呃 Tech 多伦多的 Civic Tech Toronto 这边的朋友们，那大家都会呃除了介绍自己的呃组织在做什么，自己的呃公民科技社群都在做什么以外，也会讲就是关于呃国际与国际，例如说台湾 G 零 V 跟这样这些组织能够有什么样的火花。那接下来第一个部分，那我们将进入就是第一个 c o f o Japan 来自日本的项目展示案例，我们如何合作？那是由呃呃 Siki。扫扫大号路上，<笑>就是先开始，然后再再来是呃妈咪妈咪上，然后以及就是我们的呃马里科上一起进行。好，稍等一下、哦，那呃我们将进入他的影片。Uh, founder of Code for Japan. I am also working for government, Japanese government, and several cities as a kind of a digital transformation advisor. Today, I am here for sharing experiences of Code for Japan. It is a network of the people who want to create a solution to solve social. <laughs> I'm Kosei, uh, founder of Code for Japan. I am also working for government, Japanese government. Governments and several cities as a kind of a digital tech in, tech in Japan. I'm Haruseki, a founder of Code for Japan. I am also working for government, Japanese government, and several cities as a kind of a digital transformation advisor. Today. I am here for sharing experiences of Code for Japan. It is a network of the people who want to create a solution to solve social issues. We are connecting the people and people and help government to work better with an open internet way. Our motto is "Think together, create together." We don't think complain. We don't just complain to the government. We use our hands to make something good with people. Why do people need to think and create together? Because public services are not only formed by the government. Before I started Code for Japan, I just thought that the government is vending like a vending machine. I pay taxes and the government provides public services. 
like that. I did not have uh, much opportunity of communicating with the government staffs before, but I noticed just complaining about the government is making the situation worse. I thought if citizens and government can collaborate more, we can create better services. I mentioned that the Code for Japan is a network of people. We are the biggest community of the civic, civic tech in Japan. Our Slack channel have more than 4,300 people. There are people from diverse professions like uh, IT engineers, the designers, or government staffs, or a salesperson, or a planner, or students, or a retired person. Anybody can start a project and invite people to their project via Slack or other opportunities. Code for Japan is also networking uh, is also networking the local code for communities. It is very much like an open source community. Code for Japan is not an umbrella organization. Each local community is doing its own projects and sharing knowledge is using our network. And Code for Japan is uh, one of governing members of global civic tech relations called Code for All. Through the network, we have been learning case studies from each country. Look at the community side. Their activity is very diverse. Digital mapping or regularly meeting with the government staff or uh, develop some applications or having meetups or hackathons or ideasons like that. So uh, we can uh, share uh, our activities with uh, other organizations and uh, uh, help uh, each other. Let me jump into the COVID-19 outbreak agenda. Unfortunately, uh, Japan has not been able to defeat the coronaviruses. And the third wave outbreak is on the verge of happening as we had to in head into winter. As all of us know, uh, COVID-19 rapidly changed the world state. Uh, this is a list of things that we that have not been promoted very well in past in Japan. We have been using hanko seals in the society, and it makes it difficult to reform paper-based workflows. Uh, since people are bound to the paperwork, uh, people were not able to work remotely. Also, population density in Tokyo was too much high and local cities' populations have been decreasing year by year. The government has was trying to distribute these digital ID cards to the people, but uh, only about uh, 15 of the people had them. Each local government has different IT systems, so that exchanging data with national government was required by uh, slow processes. And it, uh, it made the difficult situation in, under the COVID-19 outbreak. After the COVID-19 outbreak, uh, people realized how governments are using old-fashioned workflow and uh, all of these issues became one of high priority priority issues suddenly. Under the COVID-19 situation, I saw a lot of community-driven projects happen. People in Code for Japan network built, uh, for example, the dashboards or uh, idea gathering services or making made search apps uh, and chatbots for NPOs. From these examples, let me introduce this website that we built. Uh, this is an official website of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government for sharing the information of the COVID-19 situation. We use the uh, open data from the Tokyo Metro Metropolitan Government. This dashboard became uh, very popular as soon as it was released because it was very well designed, as you see. Also. There was another reason that makes it popular. You know, we published the source code on the GitHub. Also, we opened issued and issues and uh, pull requests publicly. 
it means you 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 can uh, send us the uh, ideas about the uh, website or you can contribute your source code to our website through this github after releasing the website we got many contributions from the world literally in the three weeks we've got uh, 750 issues and over a hundred pull requests from um, from more than uh, 200 contributors. In total, uh, there are more than 300 contributors. People improved uh, the website dramatically day by day. Even we got a pull request from Audrey Tan. I remember we got very excited at the time we found this pull request. Of course, we merged the request in a second. Since we released the source code and uh, an open source license, the local communities or the individual developers uh, forked the code and revealed it as a local version. These images are some of the cover illustrations of the cloned version. Uh, as you see, the ma uh, many dev designers were also involved with the uh, local version. Uh, it's cool, isn't it? In the end, more than 80 communities and governments created the d dashboard using the code base. I was amazed how at, I, I was amazed at how quickly it spread across Japan. Let me show another one. Uh, due to the local restaurant had to close their web, their venue, they they started the uh, delivery or takeout services, but the stu student couldn't know which restaurant they can use. So many local communities built a website for the people who want to look for the local restaurant which provides uh, delivery services. But since we were, uh, since there were uh, many similar websites, we thought we should share those information so that we can reach more ver more widely people. We started an open data project called uh, Open Eats Japan with some partners. We were uh, now uh, we are now co co collecting those restaurant informations and creating an open data for the developers. And thanks to the big number of students who are partic participating in Code for Japan recently, a uh, new initiative has emerged, a social problem solving service competition uh, targeted to the people under age of 22. Civic Tech Challenge Cup is a competition for students under the age of 22 of social problem solving services. The, the, the project was uh, running by Code for Japan interns for students who missed school and the summer internship opportunities due to school su suspended. Uh, at last, the uh, 28 teams from, the, from more than uh, 100 students participated in the competition. The, the, then 10 finalist teams uh, presented their services developed under more than two months. All the entries were very high level and I was really surprised and and and, and the event ended with a great success. With some the some of the services going to be tested with the municipalities after the event. Next, let me pick up the Social Technology Officer project. The government is not only a provider of social services. We are focusing, to, focusing on non-profit organization in this project. This project is trying to create a new occupation called tech, Social Technology Officer in society which means uh, the technology uh, uh, that the, the STO helps the NPOs. NPOs, uh, the digitalization or uh, uh, digital transformation. The STO's job descriptions are similar to the CTO of general companies, but STO needs to know social problems as well as uh, technologies. 
We are matching tech people and NPOs by creating opportunities to know or help or uh, support NPOs. For the instance, uh, one of the teams created a chatbot for the NPO that helps needy so, so that uh, the NPO can use this chatbot, chatbot uh, to uh, communicate more uh, widely people. Uh, yeah, so many uh, projects are happening uh, with uh, this kind of uh, uh, STO project. Most recently project is called DIY Cities. I believe that the cities need to be created by citizens, not only by a government and companies. DIY means do it yourself. We need cities that uh, we help cities that provide opportunities to join their policy making and city planning or city developing. About the participatory policy making, that in the end of the last month, Kakogawa City started the the participatory policy making service using Dissidim. It's open source citizen engagement platform. Uh, Code for Japan had localized this name and uh, provided it to the city. The concept is uh, similar to the V Taiwan in Taiwan. So we would like to learn about the policy making process from the Taiwan more. At last, I think open data is one of the key concepts of the collaborations. Asia Open Data Challenge is the annual competition of the promoting open data. Some of teams joined the, the competition from Japan, but it's great to well, it's great if more collaborative projects will be happening in the next year. Okay, that's all uh, from our side. Uh, thank you for your time. I have introduced my, the showcase from Japan. Uh, through this session, we will discuss how we can collaborate with other, other Asian countries more, especially Taiwan. Uh, we need your ideas for the discussion. Feel free to re leave comments in the slide. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, San. And uh, next uh, will be Mami San. She's going to talk about uh, introduce a bit. Hi, Mami San. Yeah. Hi, good morning. So, I will add some about uh, CCC, Civic Tech Challenge Cup, and Study at Home, the application for education. So, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Now, can you see the slide? Yes. Okay, so, oh, is it mine? Oh, mie te mas ka? Um, mie te mas yo. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, uh, I will talk about study at home and CCC. Uh, first, I will talk about study at home. I was inspired by school project best from Gabuzo.
おうちで時間割り、study at home。one of the interns from、uh, 北海道 said that they are very nervous because they cannot join the interns。so that's why we make and six interns of called for Japan mainly handle this project。And we are me,、uh, organized me, fully、mommy? online. Yeah, that's、mommy. all. Thank you. Okay, thank、oh. you so much. And okay, so next will be、uh, Maliko san. Yeah. Can you share、okay. your screen? And yeah, I want to、uh, share my screen.、Uh, can you see my screen? Let me see. Okay. Thank you for introducing、okay. me, Lisa, and hello for the GovTech、uh, GovZero、uh, team. My name is Mariko, and、uh, I want to quickly、uh, introduce what,、uh, what is uh, my project uh, uh, for the Co Code for Japan. And, uh, and uh, I joined Code for Japan、uh, this spring, and、uh, I and Haru-san and 44、uh, members i s creating the Japanese、uh, contact tracing app for the COVID-19. It's called the Mamori Ai Japan. Mamori Ai means the protecting each other in Japanese. And、uh, this is not the officially launched, but are、uh, we talking to the、uh, like、Japanese government and the local government? And、uh, of course, there's a doctor and a lot of you know, designer and the PR and the Japanese broadcasters. So,、um, uh, this is、uh, my first project to joining the civic tech, but、uh, it is very enthusiastic. And I do learn more about the civic tech and, of course, learn from the, what's going on in Taiwan. Thank you. This is my introduction. Okay, thank you so much for three of you.、Uh, Uh, anyone, please,、um, do you know?、Uh, we have a Slido.、Uh, you, can, you can text what you want to ask in the Slido. The URL, you can find it in the、uh, official website of the session. But if you, if you have any other question, maybe you can just raise your hand so we can do the translation for you. And so、uh, we are going to go into the QS session. So maybe before, before you guys have any question, maybe can I ask a question to three of you first?、Um, because I also,、uh, myself, also participate in some of c o d e for Japan's events. Because I,、uh, when I was in university, I, I was working for、uh, Taiwan Japan、uh, Communication Club. So,、uh, It is my honor to, to be here as a、um, moderator. And so, what I want to ask is because I know、uh, Halu san also, like,、uh, when, when you first time came to Taiwan and attend the events in Hackathon of、um, GovZero,、uh, what do you think,、uh, what is different between commu community or、uh, the culture in、uh, civic tech in, in Japan? And also、uh, for Mami san and Mariko san. <laughs> yeah. So, who goes first?、Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go first. Okay.、Uh, yeah, I think the main motivation of Big Tech is the same、uh, as、uh, Taiwan and Japan. But a little bit different is uh, uh, kind of enthusiasm about the democracy is a little bit different because、uh, in Japan, Democracy has been established for so、mm. long time. So that it became, become too common place. And the people d o e s n t much care about how important democracy is. So recently, in Japan, in Japan there are many、uh, things, but、uh, not, many, not so many、uh, people. Want to use the hand to end something. That kind of、uh, answer is different. In my personal observation, like most of、uh, Code for Japan projects, more like、uh, for daily life tools or、uh, mm -hmm. more for、uh, children or for seniors. But not, not that much for, for、um, democracy. But recently,、uh, I've also seen some new projects of Code for Japan, like Code for Gin 
and Kofo uh, yeah. election. Uh, can you, yes. uh, can you or Mami-san, can you uh, explain a bit? Like, it, do you think it's changing? Like, is there a string? Like, young people started to um, think they have to involve in politics in Japan. Mami-san, breathe. Wait, wait a minute, okay, because the sounds are mixed. Can I ask again? So, sorry. Sorry, do you think um, the uh, young people in Japan, because I saw some new projects like Kofo mm -hmm. election or Kofo Gein. So do you think maybe uh, Japanese young people, are they changing? Maybe they want to involve more into politics? Okay, so uh, yes, because uh, when I went to Gov Zero Summit 2018, there are so many young people and uh, women mm. and non binary people, and that was very good for me. And uh, it was big supplies. And when we come go back to Japan, mm. I I announced the member of Call for Japan that I want to bring more young people <laughs> to Call for Japan. That was the, my mission, which started from two years ago from mm. Gov Zero Summit. And because of the COVID-19, so many people, especially the high school people, knows about the, the project because they use Twitters and Kita. Kita is the community for engineers in Japan because they use that to SNS. They know about Code for Japan that they came to us. And because Haru-san already copied the social hack day from Gov Zero Johnson, we have the time to invite them. So that's why we can do it. So we have to really appreciate for Gov Zero communities, I think. <laughs> Uh, let me explain a little bit, like uh, because uh, because some of this uh, audience are not really familiar with uh, GovZero community. So uh, GovZero have a hackathon uh, once, uh, two two months once. So uh, everyone can just come here and write a proposal, and some people, uh, other participator, maybe they will be interested in this. So they will go to your project and join it and started to hack something. So uh, Hello Sun, he first time came to Taiwan and joined our hackathon here. So he decided this is good. So he bring this to Japan, and so now Japan has maybe weekly, no monthly. <laughs> Monthly, 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 monthly online Ooh. hackathon is really, really uh, surprising, and 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 lots of projects started from here. So I think uh, this is like a, we fork each other, not only fork project, not only like oh I think that one is good, maybe we can do that too. It's more like oh yeah, the way how how do community how do community uh, community grows, you can uh, combine this. Uh, uh, to to make to make both of side better and also like GovZero also learn from uh, COVID Japan a lot. Like this year, this is the first time we come to Tainan. Usually, GovZero summit uh, happens in Taipei, and and all people from Taipei and just like usual, and we don't we we more focus on um, uh, national issues but not mm -hmm. local issue. But in Japan, COVID Japan, because I attend like three or four. Uh, uh, three or four times of uh, Call for Japan Summit. It's more like uh, they bring people to other city. Every time uh, Call for Japan Summit, uh, maybe I, can, I sh should leave this to hello san or, or Mariko-san for explaining about the uh, Call for Japan Summit. Yeah, so anyway, I think it's like both side influence. So any any uh, in, in comment from Mariko-san? We also have some questions from audience now. Oh, there, is there any question from the audience? Yeah. But uh, I'm, I want to go back to the, your uh, Lisa's uh, first question. What is the difference from the Japan and the Taiwan? And uh, I think for, this is my opinion, but uh, the uh, orderly term, uh, um, she is a very, how, how can I say, symbolic. And uh, because uh, before, not now, but uh, before, a uh, Japanese you know, governor is always established and very how can I say old and men and so you know you know squared but uh, uh the, you know uh 
Audrey, uh, Audrey Tan, she is so, how can I say, uh, 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 of course, uh, she's uh, her activity and what she's doing, the beautiful, and also the her existence is very influenced to uh, Japan, I think. And of course, uh, the Haru san and Code for Japan working with, you know, uh, uh, Gab, uh, Gab, uh, Gab Zero and uh, uh, Audrey Tan, and also lots of Japanese media is covering the Audrey Tan. And now, uh, in Japanese government, started to think about that we will have a Japanese uh, digital agency. And the governor said, it is not that, you know, the head of the Jap uh, digital agency is not from the, you know, established parliament, but the, from the citizen, from the, you know, um, like Harsan, <laughs> I mean, the, not the politician. So this is a very good influence from in you know, Taiwan. You have, uh, you know, Audrey Tan as a uh, digital minister. So this, I, I think this is a good influence from Taiwan and we will change here in Japan. Okay, thank you. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's really out of our imagination that she, she will influence Japan that much. And okay, so uh, maybe we go back to the question of the um, some, some audience. That the first one mm. is, did the network in Japan exist before the pandemic? And how has the network mm. evolved sin since the beginning of the pandemic? I think uh, pandemic changes uh, uh, COVID Japan's uh, community a lot. So maybe can anyone want to give some comment in this question? Yeah. Uh, I started Code for Japan in 2013, so yeah, it existed before mm -hmm. the pandemic. Mm. Yeah, and uh, uh, first we, our group is uh, uh, spread with the local code for communities. We have uh, 18 local code for communities in Japan and connected people, and so diverse project was uh, were happening in the different cities. So we, 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 create, we started the uh, uh, Code for Japan Summit and uh, uh, connect people and uh, let them to share their mm. experience so, so they, can, they can learn many things from uh, activities. And after the after pandemic happened, uh, that kind of people created many applications and shared with the, with the uh, Japanese people so people could know this kind of activities and they thought uh, maybe we can join and we as, as mami san we had a monthly hackathon so people can easily to join because it was uh, uh, organized uh, online so that kind of nation uh, is a very uh, strong uh, reason that uh, makes the uh, part of the fan popular. Thank you, Haru-san. Uh, and Haru-san, I, I, I want to add, yeah, add, sure. add that. That before the pandemic, the Code for Japan's the, uh, Slack member is 800, right? But after the pandemic, Four it's thousand. Uh, five times you know, bigger. <laughs> I mean, the 4,000 member, right? Yeah, uh, four four hundred to four thousand. Oh my gosh, so ten times! Wow. Yeah, so here is evolving. Yeah, so some some when when we we're facing some crisis, this is where people started to want to help and started to mm. take actions. So I think this is a very good example. Just like at the very beginning, um, uh, Six Sound, you started from the uh, earthquake, the Japan, uh, East Japan, yeah, right. big earthquake. Yeah, so uh, the next question, <laughs> yeah. Um, and she wants to know, uh, how do you work with group and organization not connect to the network? Mariko-san is from other organization? Oh, before I you join, this is a good question for the again Harusan. But uh, Harusan, um, is there any member who we cannot using the like Wi-Fi or network? This network means that uh, like Wi-Fi, right? So, is there any member 
I mean, the, uh, not using the internet. Do, mm -hmm. do you know this kind of the members? Uh, I, I know that you have a lot of hackathon ideas on for the uh, local govern, government. Maybe at that moment, you don't use uh, any network. Yeah. Uh, we sometimes we have a uh, uh, kind of uh, workshops with uh, uh, local students, and mm -hmm. obviously at that time we we don't use uh, uh, PC. We use a post post it and uh, papers and collect the citizen ideas. Uh, recently, I uh, we started to to implement the uh, local policy making uh, platform. Uh, it is using the open source platform from uh, Barcelona, Barcelona, and then it's, it is similar to V Taiwan, and we have very local uh, workshops and collect the ideas and put the ideas onto the internet uh, website, so people can know know the, what what is the issues of the local from the local perspective. And I also know you have lots of like fellowship with companies and uh, corporates and uh, governments, and 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 also yourself. Uh, you go to government recently, like became yeah. their consultant. Yeah. What's that feel, and what what do you think you would, if we would change like the 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 mm. community like over Japan? Yeah. I. I have been working for, for Kobe City from four years ago, and it, it realized me that how important to know actually the people inside the government were working, how 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 they how how, how they are working, and uh, what kind of grief we have. And how and and I needed to. Uh, it was really great experience experience for me because I understand uh, the protocol of the inside government. So I can explain. I can explain uh, the how the technology is important by using their language. So that is important. Uh, to know the uh, other side. Do you feel lots of, like, lots of like bureaucracy or barriers <laughs> inside of a government? So you can use uh, the language of um, a civil servants, so they'll know what you are doing with their language and cultural. So you can uh, push more than uh, to into like civil tech. Or or using more digitalizing tools, it's like that. <laughs> Sorry, I I couldn't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me. What about now? Okay, maybe let's go mm -hmm. to the last question because of time. Uh, is there any projects in Co for Japan that focus on environment issues, especially on um, biodiversity converse, uh, conservations, like? Wild animals conservations. <laughs> I only know Kovo cat. Kovo <laughs> cat and Higumapu. Ah, Higumapu. Can I yeah. show the yeah. slide? I I I missed I missed a slide before, so. <laughs> uh, is it shown now? I'm seeing the old. Oh, did they yeah, yeah, yeah. oh uh -huh. so okay. it is about yeah, yeah. The, so the, the bears? The left side is about Higumapu. Higumapu is the map for the bears. Yeah. Uh, because, <laughs> because, because in Hokkaido, there are so many bears in the forest. And in before winter, they come to the city side. And it's, it's dangerous for the people. So... Uh, we want to protect the people and the bear both, so that's why the maybe call for Sapporo and some other brigades make this application for 
the local side of the 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 of Japan. Well, lots of and, bears. And uh, <laughs> left is about Tata, and maybe Lisa San all, all, all also knows about this. And when we held the FTO one in Okinawa, some of the uh, participants bring the issues about environment to mm. to save the sea and forest. So yes, sometimes so it happens. It's more about environment. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mami-san. Yeah. Okay, so because of we have limited time, I really want to yeah. talk to you guys more, <laughs> but yeah, it's time for our next session. So thank you so much for every one of you. And uh, I, I wish uh, we can still keep uh, connect, uh, connect to each other and learn from each other. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.